the pattern 135, 135, 235, 235, 245, 245. And then it goes back to 135. Who prefers seeing this upside down versus like you're looking at the guitar in my hand or would you like to like see the guitar as it's in your hand? G, E, E, like that? Or do you prefer this? I'm curious. I'd like to know. Get your thoughts out there. First person, and this is more like a third person. And you're the audience spectator. Well, I'm just gonna do it this way for now. Okay, so if I look at the guitar, like, hope you can hear me okay. Wherever these birds that are making such a racket. I'm kidding, they're lovely. So if we start, this, this is this is the pattern. This is all I need to know. If if you go, oh, let's see, I'm gonna be writing backwards. It's gonna look weird. Okay, one. Three, five, this way. It's always followed by one, three, five. And there's no fret in between the two patterns like that. And it can be up to three. One, three, five but there will definitely be an F in this third one if you get up to three. And after that, you skip a fret, so you leave a fret blank, and then I'm calling it two, three, five, because also, not only horizontally, but when we look at it vertically, um, I'm gonna draw it upside down for now. Pattern is one, three, five, one, three, five, when there's no F here. And if there's no F here, that's another one, three, five. But there's definitely F here. And it goes to two, three. There'll be another two, three, five, one, two, three, four, five. This would probably be the B string, so we'll get shifted forward. If this even happens, I don't think this even happens. Um, but then it's always two, four, five. This is our magic eight string guitar, two, four, five. So just gotta think of that pattern and it will repeat. After two, four, five, it's just gonna be another one, three, five, one, Three, five. And if there's no F here, it'll be another one, three, five, going horizontally that way. This, this will make a lot more sense if you watch my last fretboard uh, video. It's called uh, Learn the Fretboard by Learning One Thing or Learn the Fretboard by Learning This One Thing. I'll put a card. Was it here? Be there. That's gonna be here. Yeah, it's gonna be over here. Go check that video out. Um, but first, you know, you, you know, I'm gonna ask you. You know, I'm gonna ask you, right? It's what everyone asks you, right? Right? You, you want to sleep over tomorrow night? Uh, you need to know where the F's are, <laughs> or, or you, it's like you can't really do this. Um, you should really know where every note is, because this, this isn't about memorizing the fretboard. This is about seeing the intervals. So, um, so it's like I'm not giving you a way to memorize it. I'm just giving you a way to kind of like see the fretboard another way and just quickly just go right up it in, in whole notes. And then you can, uh, from there, do, do what you want. So there's no F there. It's one, three, five. Let's say there's an F here. Then this is going to be two, three, five. That's why I'm calling them two, three, five. And two, three, five is always followed by two, three, five. Whenever you have a switch for a one, three, five. So let's look at... G, G, A, B, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. We know we got to switch to go to the next pattern. 
Whatever, wherever you started at the one, this is now the one. You just make that the two. Skip a fret. Skip another fret. Skip another fret. I'm just gonna do it under here. We'll start like that. One through five. One through five. So it doesn't shift this way, but it does shift here. So if we start here on D, E, F, and that's the uh, two, four, five pattern. Two, four, five, and there's an F. So we need to switch, go to the next one, three, five pattern. And one, three, five would be here with uh, G, A, B, or one, three, five is here. One, three, five with G, A, B. And after one through five, it's another one through five. C, D, E. And you know what? After here, where we got 12, 13 fret, we could just go down. That's one through five. Let's go down. C, D, E, F, G, A. Right? Yeah, because it's 12 fret. And that is the pattern on the fretboard horizontally and vertically. Look at it. But I'm gonna start with F to just make it easier to see. One, three, five. When you have a one, three, five, if there's an F in there, you gotta go to the next pattern, which is two, three, five. And going horizontally, uh, we skip one fret. One, three, five. Two, three, five. One, three, five. Two, three, five. And then another two through five by skipping drop fret two three five then skip another fret two four five skip another fret uh, let's just pick a random note a b start with c c d e that's a one through five followed by another one through five f g a that one through five has as a you know f in it so we skip a fret and go two three five uh, G, I'm oh, sorry, E, A, B, C, D. And then let's just go down. D, E, F, G. And then we go to the two, four, five pattern. A, B, C. This is 13th fret, right? This is the 14th fret. This is G right here. G, A, B, C here. So if I, if I pick another note here, D string. Let's go into the D string. Uh, how about do A, right here, A, B, C, there, there's no F there, let's just go down, uh, D, E, F, uh, let's start over here, uh, let's try going upside down here, see how you guys think which one's better, so now we're looking at the first, third, get screwed up here so it's gonna mark this C because I'll, I'll start doing this whole thing upside down um, so let's start on E E F G so we just go straight down from here A uh, we need to go to the two four five pattern B C and it's the same pattern here it's gonna be D E F or we do the same pattern here. D. Kidding? That's that was so e, backwards, confusing, ridiculous. F. So backwards, Kidding, that's confusing, that was so ridiculous. backwards, confusing, ridiculous. Confusing, ridiculous. <laughs> it's like upside down, backwards, like upwards, confusing, we ridiculous. That. Kidding? That's that was so backwards, like confusing, down, ridiculous. We can understand that. It's like I upside down. I don't, I don't know how it's understanding it. Understand but there is one spot on it. the neck. I don't know how it's understanding it. It's like there is three. On the bot on the top and bottom E string. So if you start on G, G A B C D E F G A, and then we would go to the next pattern, which is two through five. Start on any 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 note and just just follow that. And if you want to go down vertically, one three five, and if we're staying within these five frets, one one three five two three five two three five two four five two four five. 
followed by one through five, and that is G, A, B, so there's no skip, C, D, E. So this is G here, this is G. The pattern goes that way, G, A, B, C. This is like, you know, piano keys, there's no, there's no black key here, but there's a black key here, and there's a black key here, <laughs> right? You guys following me here? <laughs> and there's no black key there, but there's a black key there, right? But this is actually E here on the piano. Um, I, I see the intervals on the piano. You know, C, D, E. E and F. B and C. E and F, B and C. And it's just like the, the piano is the easiest way to see that interval. And that's really all this is. It's showing the interval. Whenever there's a, where there's, you know, there's no skip there, that's either an E and F or B and C. That's, that's only two notes those could be, or four notes those could be. So let's, let's do this. Uh, e, F, G, we need, we know we need to go to two, four, five now by skipping. Once you see that pattern, it doesn't matter kind of where you start. Yeah, so if you go this way, it's E, A, D. Uh, let's start on G. G, A, B. We got a one, three, five there. There's no F there. So under here, it's going to be C, D. E. Oh, there's there's no F on that either. So G D E F G A. Now we have our F. It's gonna be followed by two through five. F G A B C D. By another two through five. B C D E F G. By follow two four five. G A B C. Skip a fret. Uh D E F. Alright? Or if we go this way, G, A, B, C, D, E, followed by a little bit, F, G, A. Then it's going to be B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. It's, 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 it just follows that 1 through 5, 1 through 5, 2 through 5, 2 through 5, 2 through 5, no matter which way you go, no matter where you start, start anywhere. Uh, D, E, F, that's one, three, five. G, A, D, E, F, one. I'm sorry, we gotta skip to the next thing now. Uh, this is a two, four, five, with an F in it. So it followed by a one, three, five. G, A, B, followed by another one, three, five. Uh, C, D, E, or one, three, five this way. Uh, B, C, D, E. And there's an F there, so C, D, E, F, G, A. And you don't even have to think about it. Start on any note. Any any note. Uh, D, but that's a whole note. Um, start on E. E, F, G. That's a 2, 3, 5. It has an F in it. So the next row down is going to be 2, 4, 5. E, F, G, A, B, C. Followed by another 2, 4, 5. Uh, but it's B string. A, B, C, D, E, F. Followed by a 1, 3, 5. D, E, F, G, A, B. 1, 3, 5. So you get the 2, 3, 5. Three five, one four five, one four five, one three five, one three five, one three five. It's that simple.